Okay, Paul, here we go. Of course, this is the foyer entrance, common entrance. Uh, mail service is there. There's not much here. There's a credenza. Uh, we'll go upstairs here. It is one flight. The hallways are extremely well taken care of. It's a uh, back of the building unit, which is probably good. It's on an alley. All right, living room. So entryway, you asked me about the condition of the walls. The walls are fine. Um, it's just in need of a paint. You can see where some of the tape is peeling in the corners. Uh, here's an example. That's tape peeling but it's all easy fix stuff. It's nothing major. That is a crack in the wall. Uh, no explanation for that. And uh, maybe a load bearing wall. Okay, so one more pan of the Oh, your view outside, sorry. My bad, Sarge. Covered parking back there, most likely. The unit has parking back there. Additional parking, unmarked spots. Unmarked, unmarked spots are uh, open. And then the entrance is down there, and it's a U-shaped entrance, one-way traffic. Quick pan of the unit. I'll save the kitchen and the machine room for last. Bathroom, very outdated. Uh, it's in good shape, but um, <clears throat> as you can see, everything seems okay in here. It's just dated. It's in it's in good nick though. Um, back bedroom. Here, let me back up a little bit so you get a shot of the hallway. Some minor damage on the wall, corners of the walls, and the foyer or the hallway. All right, here's back bedroom. This appears to be smaller of the two. Storage is quite good. I'd say this closet is two and a half feet by five and probably seven feet tall. Looks like got cable service coming into there. I'm standing in the middle of the room and I will do a 360. Again, some more cracking up there, but that's easy fix stuff. It's just tape. Looks like it goes all the way to the wrong top there. Here's a shot looking out the back of the building. Back to the 360. Yes, cable service there. Okay, lights off. Hallway closet is quite large. And the larger of the two bedrooms. Not much, but it is larger. I'll do a 360 with the light on. Duh. Three sixty closet with a mirror, and this closet is of course bigger. I would say this is three and a half feet by probably six feet, and about eight feet tall, maybe even nine. Which tells me there's probably machine stuff in the other one taking up the high space. These are the parking units out back. We don't know which one is assigned to this unit and we're not even positive. Those are the ones assigned to it, but it seems likely. Ceiling fan from 1980. You could be naked all you want because there's a big tree in your window. <laughs> That's a joke. 
Okay. And finally, this closet here, and then I'll do the kitchen and machine room. Another storage closet looks to be four by six, possibly by nine feet tall. It's quite roomy in here, actually. And then finally the kitchen. Um, laminate flooring. It's a little squeaky in some spots. There we go. That could probably be corrected. Plenty of shelf space, cabinet space, and counter space. Probably more than you need in this unit. A little bit dated and everything, but everything's in good nick. Here is a uh, breakfast nook area. And here is the unit. Machine room, washer and dryer. I haven't asked if it's included, but I will assume it is. If not, easily fixable. That water heater is dated 2017. The floor is in good nick. There's a drain for washing. The uh, furnace unit, uh, don't know off the top of my head. I've checked the data plate. I'll take a quick video of it. I don't recall seeing any dates on there. Anyways, everything looks to be in good order. There's uh, ownership manuals there. Some more cracking, but this is very minor. That's an easy fix. There's some storage up there. Mm, ducting. Everything looks to be in fine order. I'm kind of glad I came to see this place. Thank you for pushing me to do so. Yeah, everything looks in good order. You wouldn't necessarily have to replace anything. Look out this window gives you the... And I think that's about it, my brother. It's a nice unit.